Sometimes when looking for a photo to support the story in my longer films, I come across a picture that really sparks a strong reaction in me. Interesting events and feelings seemingly forgotten come flooding back as my mind pieces together everything that was happening at that moment. Eight years of driving Alandia around Africa has produced a lot of funny, weird, scary and very interesting moments. Rather than enjoying these flashbacks on my own, I thought I'd create this little series to share some of them with you, to go behind the photo a little and enjoy some of the deeper context from the day it was taken. Our first photo is from the Republic of Congo, back in 2010 when I was on a three-year trip around Africa and captured my favourite animal shot to date. The only info I had about the whole situation was a set of GPS waypoints in the north of the country, showing a turnoff from the main road, and so I set off down this innocent looking track, hoping for the best. I was met by a nice bunch of guys down by a large river, but as it was getting dark, I set up camp in the car park and had a quiet night despite the intense heat and humidity. I was here to see Sid, the male gorilla who was kept on a large river island. He was notoriously antisocial, killing other gorillas placed with him, so the deep water provided a barrier to protect both him and us. He had no interest in being seen by us, so we first had to cross the river in this dugout canoe, waving at the crocs underneath, and get across to the wooden platform on the island side. We loaded it up with bananas and sugarcane, and then went back to the mainland to hide and wait, hoping he was hungry enough to come out. It took a few sweaty hours fighting off the mosquitoes, but finally Sid emerged from the bush, looking cautiously to see if any pesky humans were around. Even from a distance, you could see he was ginormous. When he was comfortably in place on the platform munching away, we slowly emerged and took the canoe across the river to some wooden poles a few metres away from his platform that we could hold on to. The human-like look of disgust and slouch of his shoulders when he saw us emerge was so funny, he really hated us for bribing him like this. He grandly postured and posed, showing us who was a boss, and I did my best to capture some good photos with the very basic first generation of digital cameras that I was travelling with as we bobbed up and down on the fast flowing river. But as he dropped a large piece of fruit over the back of a platform, I couldn't stop laughing as he gave us a unique and unexpected pose that was both beautifully majestic and summed up his whole attitude to our presence. 